Hello everybody, it is Joel from PC Games N and I am here with Phil. Hi. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Phil. Um, <laughs> we, or rather Phil, you recently played quite a lot of Civilization VI. 150 turns of it. No less. So what's going to happen here is we are, we captured the footage while Phil was playing and now he's going to basically talk me through it um, as a bit of a Civ rookie. I'm going to try and explain my actions and justify all my... Uh... <laughs> Random clicking. Yeah, yeah just um, like a naughty teenager who's come in from the garden. So these are the civilizations you can choose from? These are the announced civs so far. So I'm going to pick Japan because I'm very familiar with Japan from Civ 5. There he is. Those are the only parameters uh, available in the, in the preview build. I'd have probably dropped the difficulty down if it were to me. of life beneath water to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization on toward the stars. The great wave of Buddhism follows you, Shiken of Japan, Hojo Tokimune. Your people truly understand what it is to practice balance, and even your finest samurai. Anyway, never mind. That. Okay, so you've cut that off. <laughs> <laughs> and even your fight. No, never mind. So, you're playing Civilization of Japan. So, what I've done, I make my first mistake there. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Which is founding a, a seat straight on. So in Civ 5, that's what you do. You found your first city, turn one, uh, and then you start building a settler and sort of looking around and killing barbarians. Uh, Civ 6, because the district system works very differently and you need certain tiles for certain districts, it's better probably to do a bit more exploration. But I've gone straight in. I think I lucked out just because Kyoto there is by a river. It's got a mountain there, plenty of space for farmland and only a bit of marshland. Yeah, so. it seems like quite a decent spot. Um, but it was a sort of, I, I, you know, it was dumb luck, really. Now, immediately, hmm. here's a big difference from Civ Five because I found some barbarians, but they're scouts. Um, they're near, though, aren't they? I mean, they're, yeah, 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 they're really near. So what what barbarians will do these in, in Civ Six is there'll be a camp, and that camp will send out not just warriors as they used to, but also scouts. So the scout will go and see that I've got a city there. And it will send, bar uh, you know, barbarian warriors to that city, right? Which is like actually quite scary. See, the role I'm going to play here is the person who's like pretending like he doesn't know what's going on in Civ, but that is actually the case because I haven't played a Civ game since Civ Two. Well, you're nothing if not method. Um, so that was a long time ago. So yeah, so basically, what's happened here is they're scouting you, and you look like you're going to go and do them. In. Oh, I'm going to try and do them, <laughs> in, but because because they're a scout, their movement speed's better than me as a as a warrior. Right. So I'm just like sort of. You know, running after them, but they've already clocked my uh, my city there, and then they can just go back off. Wow, to they the, are um, quick, aren't they? Yeah, they can move. I think two or three. Now, this, will the scouts have just happened to have been there, or do they get like a sort of ping going? A new civilization's popped up. Go and have a look. Uh, I think they their barbarian camp would have spawned at the same time as my city, right? And just by chance, it would have been quite nice. Okay, cool. gotcha. The um, the early game is just full of barbarians because they can spawn anywhere. This certainly is true in Civ Five. They can spawn anywhere where there's fog of war. Um, right, so what are you doing here? Um, I'm selecting my first tech. Um, so I don't have very much to choose from at the moment. You're, usually what you do with, with um, Japan is just like scroll a little bit further on, pick samurai, and then whatever techs will take you to samurai, you do that. This time I'm not so sure because samurai work a little bit differently. They're not like the no-brainer unit that they that they used to be, even if you weren't going for a, a domination victory by right. building military. Um, so I'm playing it a bit more cautious and I'm not familiar with the tech trees, they're a little bit different. Now it's 150 then, so you're not you're not gonna win, really, are you? So but like what sort of game what play style are you are you aiming towards, do you think? Um, well, first off, I'm just trying to survive because I know these <laughs> barbarians are gonna be uh, a problem. Um, there's a little bit of the Civilpedia there that returns um, from games immemorial, I think. Um, ideally, what I'll be trying to do is a science victory right. because that was actually pretty hard to do with Japan before, so I thought, let's see if we can do it this time. Uh, the special abilities that your units have, like you still have the samurai, but they don't grant culture in the ways that they used to. You used to be able to just... Uh, now, that's interesting. Oh. It's all going on. conhecê-lo pessoalmente. Parece que mentes brilhantes se atraem. So what's happened there is I've met Pedro II of Brazil, who's apparently made of plasticine. I really like the look of these... It's like uh, an Ardman character. Yeah, I like them though. This is a really new style for the Civ leaders, but uh, I think it works. And I've also gained a boost. 
um, because I've met a new civilization, which means that I'll be able to uh, research a new tech quicker than if I hadn't met that civilization. Gotcha. Um, I like that with the advisor these days, you can just say very good sometimes instead of really, very good, that on you go. A, it was a pretty short conversation you and uh, old Pedro had there. So this is another new system. Um, what you can do here is basically add a bunch of perks to your civilization, depending on how you want to play. Um, so the red cards there are more military focused boosts. Uh, and the gold ones are more about sort of, you know, general production, getting gold, things like that. And it's taken me a while to figure out <laughs> what I've just explained. You're dragging there. and dropping badly. <laughs> yeah. So I could put one red card in the top there and one right. yellow card in. Gotcha. Uh, later on, as I research different government policies, I can put different configurations of cards in different slots. You seem to set your entire civilization's policy almost as randomly as. Well, certain certain do. politicians in the real world. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's it's not set in stone at this stage. So there used to be like a few penalties associated with changing your um, your whole outlook as a civilization. Um, it's quite fluid at this point, particularly in the early game with Civ VI. Um, and we have a civics tree as well as a tech tree. So we're researching new cards to put in those slots. Gotcha. as well as text that will allow us different buildings and units now, and things. Now, when you played this, you were on a turns limit, not a time limit. Presumably. Yeah, that's right. Because you seem to be playing it like it's a race. <laughs> well, <laughs> moving really quickly. Yeah, well, the early game is a bit of a race. You've got to set Ooh. all the cities nice and early, otherwise you're on the back foot. But my problem here is that I can't build a settler and, and start a new city while there are barbarians around. And there are quite a lot of them. So the scouts that I saw earlier oh, were probably gone. spawned here. And they've gone up, seen my city, and they've told the barbarians to go up and just mess yeah. me up. Yeah. So I need to take these guys out, but I've only got one warrior unit, and he's already sort of, you know, up against it. Um, so... Can they dealt with that horse? Oh, no, there's some Brazilians there. Uh, uh, lovely Sean Bean providing the voiceover for oh, our, yeah. our new techs. Um, animal husbandry's just been learned. Well, that'll help you out here. Uh, which means if, it, if there are horses or cows um, on tiles near my cities within my borders, then I'll be able to use them as resources. But in the meantime, I just need to try and get rid of these barbarians. Oh, that's um, messy. Yeah, it's not gone that well. So barbarians used to be a really good way of levelling up your warrior units in the early game. Um, and I suppose they still are. Uh, but Japan doesn't have the Bushido ability anymore. In Civ Five. Uh, your units, even if they were at half health, they'd fight as if they were at full strength. So the health would be 50%, but strength would be great guns, which is great for fighting barbarians. You could just mm. sort of keep on at them and you wouldn't need to stop and, and regenerate your health. Uh, I don't have that ability anymore. So I've built a builder here. Built a builder. And I've got really confused because what you used to who do... Who builds the builder, Phil? <laughs> who, who polices the builder? Um... <laughs> What you used to do is build a builder and just automate them and they would just improve your um, territory without you giving any great thought to it. This time it's workers, actually it's the other way around, it used to be workers, now it's builders. They work completely differently, so you actually have to set them to a tile and tell them to build a thing there. And they have three uses. Uh, and once they've Im improved three tiles, they're gone. Uh, so it's a really, really big change. Really? So what, they just spontaneously combust? Yeah, they, they sort of That's hammer the ground. Sense. I'm, really, yeah, I'm up against it. I'm down to two. You're in trouble here, Phil. I'm, I'm worried about you. Mm, I've gained a boost there. So I, I, I'll research bronze working that little bit quicker for having fought the barbarians. If I survive long enough to so do you've, it. So you've beaten the outpost, so that's good. You're an inspiration to us all. Yeah, uh, and I'm just taking a bit of time to really... <laughs> well, it's about the only breathing space you've had. I mean, I have to ask at this point, it looks, as somebody who hasn't played the Civ game for a really long time, it looks really complicated, Phil. Like if it? you decided, yeah, it really does. Like if you decided, like I have, I'm going to get into or back into Civ with this one. I mean, it seems a little like, difficult, frankly. I'm finding it a bit difficult at this early stage. I'm playing on Prince difficulty, I should say, which is probably, as I say, a little bit higher than the I would. difficulty formerly known as. <laughs> um, and that means that you don't get certain bonuses when you start, and barbarians might be a little bit more rife. Um, so I've built another builder, and I, I know it's the same builder, and I, I just can't figure out why I can't set him to um, to automate. I've gained a promotion for my warriors. That's really useful because he's almost dead. 
So I can either gain... Basically an attacking or a defensive one. Yeah, Looking I've gone with attacking because yeah. he's on the attack at the moment. He is indeed. The builder, I'm still just like, why can't I automate this builder? Well, unit, on... unit needs orders, Phil. I'm on a weak tile. Uh, I what can't... is the answer? I can't build anything here. I'm not... Oh, I think because I'm out of my territory. Remember, can you? Ah, okay. Um, but that's that's temporarily flummoxed me. So I'm going to go off and uh, explore instead and then just apparently set... No. Apparently that's fine now. Am I going to set him to sleep? I've set him to sleep. Interesting decision by Phil. Um, this was always going to be about justifying my every move. But, yeah, uh, absolutely. Well, you know, you took down the outpost. You got a promotion. Built so some builders. It's all going fine. What I should be doing really here is getting a settler on the go. Um, because other civs will probably have two cities already. Right. Which means they'll be getting, you know, more money, uh, more science points to research more techs, and it will just speed up the whole... Um, evolution process and I should also be setting those workers to probably build a farm and a tile in the in the territory that I uh, already have but I'm I'm still at this point confused by how builders work I mean this really could be a how not to play early game Civ 6 video but, if, um, if, we, if, we, if we want to <laughs> brand it that way why not oh look the sea um, so that would actually be a really good place to build a city and I've probably lovely. had that thought because it's it's near like a delta um as it turns out, Japanese units now, they don't get that, that Bushido bonus that allows them to fight at full strength, but they do get stronger if they're fighting near an ocean tile. So if your cities are positioned by the ocean, then that's that's brilliant well, for Japan. Well, the water is beautiful. I'm just going to say that. It's nice, isn't it? It seems far more sort of photographic than the rest of the graphical style. But I know what you mean. Yeah, I think it's the detail on the waves. It's beautiful. It's Look, whales. Very, very... Or dolphin. No I whales. Think, I think they're whales. Yeah, they're very close to the. They are, aren't they? I want to be careful. They get beached momentarily. So I'm using the barbarians to explore because I haven't built a scout because I always. I shot an arrow into the air. It fell to earth. I knew not where. Cheers, Sean. That'll allow me to build archers. I won't do that yet either. Um, as far as I know, back at back at base, back at Kyoto, I'm either building another builder or a settler. I thought I saw you click Settler, but yeah, I it think will remain a mystery for now. Settlers take a bit of time. So you're going to build a thing here. I'm choosing my next tech, and I've gone I've gone with sailing because um, that allows me to build fishing boats, which used to be crucial to Japan because they gained you, uh, I think, plus two culture for every fishing boat you had. Um, but they don't anymore, so I'm doing that for all the wrong reasons. There's now, a Brazilian settler. Yeah, there's some Brazilians. Now, you're friends with the Brazilians, aren't you? So well, we've met. <laughs> I'd say oh, are you about to kill them all? I think about it. Okay. I'm certainly thinking about it here because they've only got that one... Oh, you are thinking about it. I can see you. Yeah. Lives I by it. It. Um, They just had that one barbarian, uh, that one warrior unit, sorry, protecting the settler. I could have probably taken them both out. But the danger is they might have a bunch of stuff back in their capital that I don't know about. And I, it felt Be a bit a mean. nuclear retaliation. Yeah, I, I, I didn't want to enter, I didn't want to go for the domination victory straight away. I'm going yeah, for science, so. That seems fair. Um, there's going to be a bit more fiddling around there. No, I've just left it. Yeah, you've done all right there. So I'm choosing the next cards to research, which will allow me next. This is it's better have a good tutorial, this game, honestly. Um, I am baffled by what's going on at the moment. Well, there are sort of two systems working in tandem there. So the techs, uh, the tech tree allows you to research new units and uh, buildings uh, and the civics tree allows you to research new um, boosts right. for your civilization so you might okay. gain more money or something so they're working in parallel slash tandem yeah so that's my early game really it's I could have oh, see that that's going to be a problem that's exactly where I wanted the city right okay oh they've you should have killed them so I've started not ideally uh, but I'm not in a bad position I, I just need to sort of I need a settler out of the doors early on to get a second um, civilization. And yeah, how so, long is that going to take? It seems to be taking a while. It's taking a while. So I've set my warriors to go and find potentially a nice new place to, to put a city because bloody Salvador de Bahia is right on my, my back door. Oh, and there's a barbarian scout. Oh my gosh, it's all kicking off, isn't it? So I've got plenty to deal with uh, in the next few turns. It's, um, it's not as quiet as I'm used to. In this looks stuff. fine. I mean, you, you'll be fine here. It's just one man and his dog. Yeah, I, in Civ 5, I would have probably beaten that scout straight away. Mm. Anyway, well, that's going to do it for this episode. We will pick up in, uh, in a few. Uh, if you like the video, please leave us a comment. 
Give us a thumbs up and subscribe, all that good stuff. I, for um, one, am very excited. We'll catch you next time.